Well, let's just start with the lab two zip extensions and trunks. So we are going to do this practical lab here, right? So uh, zip extensions and trunks. So this is, let's say here, practical lab two, part one, zip extensions. So now we are going to configure extensions. If we look here, I'm going to show you how to configure three extensions on your server using pjzip. So, okay. Let me move this screen to the other side and let's start with the lab, following step by step. So first step, let me do a clear here. And I will move the pjsip.conf, sorry, pjsip.conf to pjsipconf back. Right. So now I have a clean file, pjsip.conf. And then let me add some sessions first let me add the global session and the transport session and then let me configure the zip extensions great so let's review so the first type here let me save let me use nano because it's it's kind of weird the sorry coloring so okay better so in global i have type equals global endpoint identifier order ip username and anonymous so to identify the order of the user we'll try ip first it will favor our trunk then the username and on the from header and then anonymous uh, we are selecting a transport UDP, type transport, protocol UDP, bind on 5060. Now we have the first endpoint. In the first endpoint, we are using the context from internal, very important. And disallow equals all, disallow all codecs, allow only the ULAW codec. The authentication is on the endpoint A1, address of records and on e1 and here i have four commands that i use for net traversal as we are on digital ocean i need to put these commands to to use nat force our port equals yes use symmetric sip signaling rtp symmetric rtp symmetric signaling so it sends from the 5060 and receives in 5060 sends on the 8000 usually on the rtp and receives back on 8000 uh, rewrite contacts to send to the contact, the external contact of the, the SIP address and direct media equals those. Usually when you have this four comments, everything will work on your, on the internet, right? Um, in the future, and maybe in another training, we can see these in details, but for now, this is what we need. Authentication, the type of authentication is user and password, and the password is hash super secret hash and the username equals E1. And then I have the same for E2 and E3. Perfect. So let me save. Now I'm going to use asterisk dash R. I will restart completely asterisk. Okay, asterisk dash R. If everything is right, I can do pjsip show endpoints and it should probably show our endpoints. One of the problems I'm facing here, and you're seeing this, lots of registers here, this is normal. Whenever you are in, on the internet, there are people trying to send traffic to your server. Uh, you need to pay attention to this. There are some, some measures to to avoid, but they will be always trying to log in on your server. So PJ, PJCIP show endpoints. Okay, E1, E2, E3. One of the things that you can do if you don't want to be uh, receiving all these, all these requests is to change the port. So if we use on pjsip.conf the port in the transport session, if we use the port, let's say, 50, 90, right? Then probably you're not going to let me do a core 
restart now. I could do pjcp reload, but I prefer, whenever I change the address, I prefer to restart the daemon. Okay, so now we are on the new daemon. We are not going to see anything here. However, when I, when I run like this, I need to adjust the phones and everything to this, to this port, right? Okay, so this ends our chapter on creating the endpoints.